For those of you that have an electric bike, you may occasionally run across the problem with a battery. And in this case, it's 250 bucks to buy a new battery for replacement. So why not troubleshoot it and try to figure out what's wrong with it and maybe repair it. All right, so the problem we have here is the battery is charging. You can see by the LEDs and uh, the charger LED, but this switch here does not work reliably. So I've measured the voltage of the charger, 40 volts, and I measured the voltage of the battery at 40 volts. And uh, according to the service, the manufacturer, there are no serviceable parts. So we're gonna fix that by putting our own switch in right here. All right, so in order to get into this battery, there's a couple screws here. You can see one, two, three, four to remove. Um, once you take the top off, you can see what's in here. These are the cells that are part of the battery. There's some circuitry in here to control um, regulation of the power and then right down in here that's the circuit board for the switch basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut these wires right here that come off the switch and i'm going to attach them to this replacement switch and i'm going to drill a hole in here and then bypass the built-in switch so the way this thing will mount is i will drill a hole in the plastic and uh, in order to determine what size of hole I need to drill, I have this drill gauge. And I just stick the face through it until I find the right sized hole, the perfectly sized hole. In this case, looks like it's 15, 30 seconds. And that's the drill bit I'll use to mount the switch. All right, I'm gonna cut these wires. the strippers to strip them and while I have the wires cut I'm gonna go ahead and just cap them off so they don't inadvertently touch something with uh, electrical tape okay so now that I've got them stripped I'm just gonna open up these terminals and wrap the ends around and then we'll be ready to test it all right, I've got everything just dangling here. Um, currently the switch is off and I got the meter ready. So I'm gonna see if I can do this one handed. Okay. And we got still zero. Okay, I've turned the switch on and you can see the green LED light down there. And then if I can get my testers. Okay, and 40 volts. So we've now successfully bypassed the switch. The proof of concept is done. So now all I need to do is wrap these things up, get it drilled and installed and put back together and this battery will be working. All right, so with the hole drilled, in theory, this is gonna fit over here, that's gonna slide through there, and then I'll be able to put everything back together. Now you can see it's poking through a little bit. I think I want a little bit more. I'm gonna look at this. There's a, another adjustment nut here, so I'm gonna take this apart again and drive this down a little bit more so I can get more of the threads poking through. All right, so there you go. Got it all back together. There's the switch that doesn't function reliably. I've now changed over to this switch here. And that's how you save yourself 250 bucks on buying a new battery pack. Uh, let's hope you don't have the same problems, but if you do, that's how you do it.